Hello, this is Dr. Joanne Manson, Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'd like to talk with you about a recent report in the British Medical Journal on the regular use of omega-3 fish oil supplements and the course of cardiovascular disease. Now, this is an observational study from the large-scale UK Biobank, and the authors divided the participants into those with and without cardiovascular disease. In those without cardiovascular disease at baseline, the, those using uh, fish oil supplements regularly had an increased incidence of both atrial fibrillation and stroke, whereas in those with prevalent CVD, there was a reduction in the progression of the cardiovascular disease to major adverse cardiovascular events, and that offset any increase in the risk of atrial fibrillation. Now, what do the randomized clinical trials of omega-3 supplements show? Because there have been many, and we know that observational studies have some uh, potential limitations and confounding, um, and that correlation does not prove causation in observational studies. So for the randomized trials, there have actually been um, at least seven that have looked at atrial fibrillation and a meta-analysis was published in circulation in 2021 showing a dose response relationship that those um, in the trials testing more than one gram a day, there's close to a 50% overall increase in risk of AF in those testing lower doses, there was very modest 12% uh, increase in a significant dose, dose response gradient. For the relationship between omega-3 supplements and major cardiovascular events, there have been at least uh, 15 individual randomized trials. There actually have been more meta-analyses of these randomized trials than individual trials. And the meta-analyses tend to show a significant reduction of coronary events with omega-3 supplementation, but no reduction in stroke. And this is true in both primary and secondary prevention trials. Now, the one exception to this finding is the reduce it trial testing high dose EPA four grams a day of icosapent ethyl. And there was a 25 to 30% reduction in both CHD and stroke. But we know there has been some criticism of the mineral oil placebo used in the REDUCE IT trial, that it may have had adverse effects on biomarkers and possibly uh, interfered with the absorption of statins in the placebo group. And so um, it will be important to have a replication trial of the high dose EPA uh, findings, the acosapent ethyl findings in a trial using an inert uh, placebo such as corn oil. So what should be done in the meantime? Well, it's important to think about prescription omega-3s versus over-the-counter fish oil. Um, we, we know that the FDA has approved prescription medications, uh, omega-3 medications for in several indications, including uh, severely elevated uh, triglyceride levels, such as levels above 500. Also, in the REDUCE-IT trial, uh, those who had more moderate elevations of triglyceride, 150 milligrams or higher prevalent uh, CVD or diabetes plus uh, two additional risk factors, also considered to have indications based on the FDA labeling um, for uh, the, the reduced icosapent ethyl. Um, what about patients who don't meet these uh, criteria for prescription omega-3s? Well, they're in the uh, vital trial, the large, large uh, scale primary prevention trial. There was similar reduction in coronary events, no effect on stroke. But those who seem to benefit the most in terms of at least 40% reduction in coronary events were those who had low fish consumption at baseline, uh, those with two or more uh, risk factors. Um, for cardiovascular disease and the uh, African-American or Black uh, participants in, in the trial. Now, certainly um, someone who rarely, if ever, eats fish um, has multiple risk factors for CBD, but that doesn't meet uh, criteria for prescription omega-3 medication may want to discuss with their clinician the use of over-the-counter uh, fish oil supplements. But an important um, point is that 
fish oil supplements and other dietary supplements will never be a substitute for healthy diet, healthy lifestyle. There is a recommendation, a national recommendation for one to two uh, servings of fish per week. Um, and, and also it's important <clears throat> for, for those who, let's say, are planning to take an omega an fish oil supplement to use reputable sources of the supplement and also test the bottle for seal of quality control testing. It's also really important to avoid mega dosing um, on the uh, fish oil because the high doses have been linked to an increased risk of atrial fibrillation and bleeding. Thank you so much for your attention. This is Joanne Manson.